Comets are super cool objects, mostly like giant frozen snowballs rushing through the solar system, sometimes bright enough to put on a show in the night sky, even with the unaided eye, as you can see here for Comet Sushinsat Atlas in 2023. Most comets originate from inside the solar system, but newly discovered interplanetary comet 3i Atlas is a bit different since it originated in another part of our galaxy, perhaps around a distant star. It was discovered on July the 1st, and we have talked about that discovery in a previous video, but now we have exciting updates. Since the initial discovery, we've had a bunch of cool follow-up observations with huge telescopes. Most recently, the Hubble Space Telescope captured four images of the comet. The four images were taken in two pairs, about 90 minutes apart. On screen, you can see the change in position of the comet between the first pair of images, which were separated by about two minutes. The star trails in the image are because each exposure was 40 seconds long and Hubble was tracking the comet, not the stars. We actually made this GIF live on my Twitch stream yesterday, and the amazing thing is that this Hubble data is freely available to everyone over on the Mars website. If you're feeling adventurous, you can grab actual data from the Hubble Space Telescope, play around with it, and look at these images for yourself, and confirm that yes, there really is a comet there. Any imaging processing software that can handle the FITS file format will work, including the open source GIMP and SAO image. We made this second GIF from the second pair of images. These were two 25 second exposures about three minutes apart, taken about 90 minutes after the first pair. So the background stars do look different. Before I talk about the other observations from the Vera C. Rubin telescope, I want to ask that if you enjoy this kind of content, please drop a like on it and consider subscribing to the channel to help promote our mission of science engagement and outreach. Okay, that's it. Back to Vera C. Rubin, which is still in its commissioning phase. Once the comet was discovered, astronomers started going back through the data to see if Rubin had observed the uh, patch of sky where the comet is during its testing. In a preprint published on the archive server July 21st by Chandler et al., the team reported that they found the comet in 37 Rubin images going back as far as June 21st. On the screen is a stack of 21 30-second images of the comet as seen by Rubin. Having so many observations, the team were able to constrain the size of the comet to between 4.8 and 6.4 kilometers, refine the orbit of the comet, and also constrain its absolute magnitude, which is a scale astronomers use to define the intrinsic or true brightness of an astronomical object at a particular wavelength. It's really neat to see all these advanced telescopes looking at our newest interstellar visitor, and it's even more cool that a lot of this data is available to anyone, so you can check out and confirm these discoveries for yourself. I'll include a bunch of links in the description for everything I talked about here. That's today's video. I'll catch you in the next one.